and it's time for this week's KTK Gives Back, a way for us to thank first responders and caregivers for the sacrifices they make to serve and protect us every day. KTK's Carson Vickroy joins us live. Carson, who are we honoring this week? Yes, Lauren, we are honoring the Jacksonville Fire Department for this week's edition of KETK Gives Back. Of course, that is all made possible by our friends over at Peter Chevrolet and Peter's Auto Sports. So one of the newer members of the fire department, Cooper Hand, he was, uh, I think, part of his initiation. He had to talk, and he has to be the guy that does the interview. But, you know, Cooper, you've got to know these men and women here over the last, you know, little bit. How would you describe the rapport you, you all share as a department? Oh, it's definitely like a little old family here. Uh, they took me in a little over six and a half months ago, and it's just been like bro uh, big brothers and dads to me. And like Michael back there, he's like a grandfather. <laughs> and that's awesome. You know, Cooper, and it's this time of year where it's hot, it's dry, you know, burn ban in effect for Cherokee County now. And it seems like yesterday we were just adding one burn ban after another, after another across East Texas. How can people stay safe in weather conditions like these? Uh, definitely make sure you're drinking plenty of water, uh, staying cool, taking appropriate breaks, um, staying hydrated. And the burn ban, don't, don't burn. You can see how dry it is. We haven't had rain like we've needed. And it's just real dry. So. And what about fireworks? That is coming up here in about, I want to say it's like 11, 12 days away from now. I can't do math for some <laughs> reason right now, but July 4th weekend is coming up. So what about fireworks? Oh, uh, as much as we want to go out and see the pretty show, I would highly suggest unless we get a bunch of rain to just hold off on that. And, you know, go out and buy your fireworks, but wait until it's a little, little more wet and the grass is greener because we don't want any fires. It's too hot for that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, Jacksonville, beautiful community, but, you know, I like to go out, eat my lunch. Um, what would be the best place to do that here in Jacksonville? I know there's a lot of options, a lot of great options out there, but in your opinion? Huh? They've taken me to La Fonda a couple of times, and I've liked that. Um, JW's Barbecue, Sadler's, huh. a bunch of hole in the walls. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go, folks. So, I mean, you heard his opinion right here. Uh, and describe to me, that is a very interesting thing you've got on your face right oh, there. Yeah. What is it with firefighters? I mean, you and those mustaches, what is it? Is that like a rookie thing or what? It's just a look. It's just a look. Got to go with it. Trying to keep the tradition going. <laughs> Absolutely. And are there any events coming up here in Jacksonville that people might want to explore? Uh, July 30th at Nichols Green Park, we're going to have a splash day with your firemen. That's going to be from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we're just going to go out, play in the water, have lots of fun. So bring your kids, and we're going to have fun. We just recently, yesterday, wrapped up with our rescue camp. That was our first ever, and it went really well. Hopefully, we'll have it again next year. All right. Well. I appreciate your time. We were looking forward to that, but we were also looking forward, you know, to these men and women getting inside, eating their cookies. And of course, this is my favorite time of week as we honor our first responders. And again, you'll have to find out where we are next week for next week's edition of KETK Gives Back, of course, sponsored in part by Peter's Chevrolet. Lauren, we'll send it back to you in the studio.